<laughs> Hello, this is Millennium Fast, and today I'm going to be doing a review for the Nintendo DS and the Nintendo DS Lite. So, let's take a while to compare these two systems. First of all, if any of you are wondering why I'm holding a pink DS, it's not actually mine. Um, I just wanted to show how bad the security was at Walmart, so I went and shoplifted it. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, I don't really like the color pink. I'm just using it for the review. Secondly, if you are wondering why I have a string attached to this one, this is not actually the stylus that comes with the Nintendo, the original Nintendo DS. I tied it on there so I wouldn't lose it. Now, first off, you can see how the original Nintendo DS has a more clunky, corporate, businessy look. And by looking at the Nintendo DS Lite, we can see it has a Apple iPod kind of look, and it's a little bit smaller than the original DS. So now I'm going to do a run through on where everything is on both of these systems. So, let's look at the original DX. Um, you got your D-pad here. Your power button is here. Right here, you can see your start and select buttons. You also have your A, X, Y, B buttons. And they have kind of a clicky feel to them. The cool thing about the DS systems are in this slot down here, it has backwards capabilities so you can so if you have a lot of Game Boy Advance games you can pop one in and you can be playing your favorite Game Boy Advance games such as um, all of you Pokemon maniacs out there or um, Yu-Gi-Oh or Dragon Ball Z or Kirby also, the shoulder buttons are really, really big, and you have your microphone down here, and right here is your charger light, and there's also another light right next to it that tells you if you're using DS now mode player or whatever mode you might be in. Now we're going to look at the DS light. Your power button is on the side right here. It's not actually a button, it's a slider. You just push that up and it turns on. Also, the they give you a bigger and better stylus than the ones that come with the original. I would like to show you guys how bigger and better the stylus for the DS Lite is, but I don't have. But unfortunately, I don't have one right now. 
and I'm kinda too poor to go buy one. Um, the shoulder buttons are smaller than the ones on the DS Lite. I mean the original DSR. They give you a nice little um, cartridge blocker thing to keep the dirt from ruining the Game Boy Advance slot. You have your thing for headphones. Now let's see what the inside of this bad boy looks like. Ooh, look! Here is The Legend of Zelda Got an Hourglass. Really good game. I recommend buying it and playing it. Well, anyways, the D-pad I think is smaller than the one on the original DS. They made the but they made the buttons bigger and they have like a more fluid like feel to them. And your start and select buttons I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but they're really really small and they're down here. Also the microphone is in a better place. For right here and I think that pretty much covers what the inside of the oh and the speakers also have um, louder and better sound than the original DS. So that pretty much covers everything on the DS Lite. So now, I'm going to go and turn the lights out, and we're going to compare the brightness of the two, of the two screens. So just give me a second to go and turn the lights out here. Ooh, spooky, isn't it? <laughs> just give me a second to find these up. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it. But I believe the Nintendo DS Lite screen is much brighter than the one that the original DS has. So, to wrap up this review, I would say the original DS I would say that you should buy the original system if you have like, um, if you ever seen the character Hagrid from Harry Potter, you saw how big his hands were, and um, so if you're kind of like Hagrid from Harry Potter and have big hands, I would recommend getting the um, dinosaur version or the original old school version of the DS, whatever you want to call it, is okay. And if you have smaller hands, or um, if you're a girl, I recommend um, getting a pink DS light, and um, it's better for people with smaller hands to hold. And that pretty much is the end of my review. So once again, this is Millennium Fest, and this is the end of my review. And um, you can see my... You can see Bob 
my um, cameraman give him a thumbs up in the camera here. So please. Go out and purchase the Nintendo DS today.